went shopping on Monday. And guess what we bought? We bought a camper van. Meet Justin. This is Justin. Justin's a 2005 Ford Transit van. And he's only got 63,000 kilometres on the clock. Why is that, Mike? Because he was a dental hygienist fan at the start of his life. He got parked up at schools and left there for a month or two at a time. Yeah, so um, I guess you just want to have a look inside. So come on in. So this is the seating area. We've got two bench seats with storage underneath. This makes it up into a queen size bed. It's big enough for both of us to sleep in. Also, it comes with a table which sits in this hole here, post, a table up here. But I doubt that we will actually use it like that because we must likely have the bed set up all the time because we're lazy and don't want to keep on making up our bed. On a hot sunny day, instead of sat here sweating like mad, I can open up our roof vent. He says, I just have to remember to close it down before we drive off. We've got cupboard space. Room for my clothes. Room for Joe's clothes. And we've got little boxes to put clothes in. And a sock cupboard. With a little container for my socks. And another one for Joe's. Any clothes that don't fit in there, don't go with us. In front of the bed, we've got our kitchen area. So we've got above the kitchen areas, got two nice cupboards for storing our food. A nice worktop, bench, and in here, we've got a chopping board. And then we've got drawers for our utensils. Another cupboard for our pots and pans. No pans in there yet. And down below, we went out and we bought ourselves a fridge. And brought our spades out. And there's a nice cool fridge. No beer in there, Mike. No, we're doing a dry January. February, March. March, <laughs> April, May, June, July, August. We're doing a dry year, believe it or not. That's 12 months without drinking. Almost made it through January. <laughs> right, so the fridge runs off 12 volts, and the 12 volts come from our house battery, which is in underneath this cupboard. It's a bit of a jumble of wires and stuff. We don't understand what's going on. So we're going to have to sort that out sometime. But we're probably going to redesign this whole van anyway at some stage. Also, we have shore power. That is where we can plug into a campsite for mains power. And then this double socket down there and that double socket up there will become live. And here we've got our little sink, a little cupboard underneath for we've got our little cooker, little gas cooker and cleaning equipment and then down the bottom a room for our clean water and wastewater. And also above the cab we've got more storage more storage we can take so much oh, stuff we've got a jug in there oh. and some rubbish this is a solar controlled panel the house battery is charged by solar panel the alternator the car's alternator and the shore power so now we'll show you the cab it's a standard for transit van from 2005 it's got a double seat, bench seat, and a single driver seat with captain's arms. Oh, yeah. And everything is standard except for the JVC radio, which is a, a Bluetooth connect radio, and it's got Bluetooth speakers. So we can actually play our music from our phones or any other Bluetooth device that can connect to it. And that runs off the house battery, not the car battery, so it'll be running all the time. So we can have parties in our van. No noise after 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Depending on where we are. And it's a, it's a manual transmission. So originally we were going to buy a shell of a van, like a Ford Transit van, but everything in the price range we're looking at were ex-courier vans, which had done 400,000 kilometres. And then we saw this on Trade Me, 
I thought, oh, this is perfect. I had an alert set up on Trade for every time a Ford Transit came up. So this one came up, went and saw it, bought it straight away, and thought, well, half the work's done. So it's been already been insulated. You know, we can use it as it is. It's fully self-contained for freedom camping. For two people? For two people. So it's basically got everything we need ready for camping now. Eventually, we're going to probably pull it all out, put a shower in, and uh, redesign it for our own use. Maybe to drive around the world, because our next plan when COVID is over is to drive around the world. But for now, our French begin. Right, so as we said, there's got two bench seats in the back, and underneath the bench seats is we've got storage. We've already put some stuff in there, our kayaks in there, ready for when we go off. <laughs> and then there's a storage there. And that storage goes the full length of the bed. Yeah. So as you might have seen earlier on, Justin's looking a little bit tatty. Um, on the side here, we've got decal from its original life as a dental hygiene van. It's some work to get that off and uh, clean up. So it's basically a project for over the winter because we can't go away. Normally every year we go away to Europe or somewhere warmer but because of Covid we can't go anywhere so we thought we needed a winter project and this is it. Yep. Keep us out of trouble during the winter. Yeah but first up we're going to be taking them away up to Northland but there's been a Covid case up there so we think we're just going to go around the Coromandel instead. That'll be our first trip away in Justin. So we're very excited about that. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed meeting Justin. We'll keep you updated how he goes. Yep, okay. So this is the seating area. We've got two bench seats with storage underneath. This makes it up into a queen size bed. I mentioned underneath the storage. I have mentioned that as underneath storage underneath. Oh, just then? Yes. Oh. I said, this is two bench seats oh, yeah. with storage underneath, which makes it up into a queen size bed. Oh, good. <laughs> 